Okay. Yeah, we have been discussing about this non-isothermal reactors. Batch reactor we have completed yesterday. I don't know how many of you have solved this problem. Ah, how much? Analytically, ah, yeah. Analytically, I tried, but, uh, no, you cannot. I think uh, there is a formula which I am going to give you for plug flow reactor. Yeah, yeah. So, but I think only under graphical uh, thing you should get. I think uh, answer you got almost same, no? Yeah. Okay. So again, this is the problem. Most of the M Tech students are not doing that. Only M S PhD students are doing. I think M S also is equivalent to M Tech. Because in the mind and all that, age wise, emotions wise. So, that is why I think M S equal to M Tech, they are also not solving the problems. But do not blame me if you do not get the marks. Again, I am telling you. Okay? One way of learning subject is when yesterday or Friday, when we solved that problem, I gave the hints how to solve. If you would have solved, you would have been happy. Okay? Now, he told something, I did something, it came all right, I am happy. Confidence always comes. But the moment you postpone till the third quiz, you are going to pay for it. I know third quiz, I think, okay, I will see just before, one day before third quiz. That is what the mentality of many people. If you do that, you will never get marks. Okay? Good. So, batch reactor, I think uh, you are not solved, only Ram Krishna, you solved it, you also solved it. Okay. Uh, you know, most of these non-isothermal problems, you will not have analytical solutions. You have to draw the graphs. And the idea of giving assignment is for you to experience the graphs, formulae, the way you write the balances, all that. That will give you experience if you solve the problems in your uh, room. I know most of you are not listening to me also. Okay? Yeah, if you start liking graphs, I think that is the most beautiful way of doing uh, problems. Really, I think analytically you may make the mistake, but graphically you cannot generally make the mistake. Right? So, that is why I am trying to maximize your learning as much as possible and your optimization is you are trying to minimize learning as much as possible and maximize marks as much as possible. Okay? So, now I think particularly non-isothermal reactors unless you do many problems, I am going to send today tomorrow another assignment on uh, non-isothermal, but uh, not many problems again, maybe 5, 6 problems, right? but unless you do that, I think you will not get uh, happiness in learning, forget about marks, but your learning, your happiness is only getting marks. Without solving a problem, how do you get 100 out of 100? Correct, no? Most of you feel that. You should not work, but you should get 100 out of 100. Right? How, how is that possible? I say it is impossible. Right? I think, you know, on this planet, even if you want to have child, you have to wait 9 months. You cannot have, I want child in 2 days. How can you have? The planet, I think the nature of the planet is totally different. That is why even learning also it is different. For learning, it takes time. Talking in chemical engineering words, learning is by diffusion. Ah, you see, he is happily, ah, like that he is telling. Okay? That is an indication that I have to stop. Right? Because whatever you are saying, I am not listening. So, I think why are you saying? So, if you have that kind of attitude early morning, 8 o'clock, what do you learn? You tell me you can never learn anything. That is what is happening in India. Okay? Absolutely that learning happiness has totally gone. Right? So, I think that is now it is left to you, but that is your will now. Okay. So, now plug flow reactor we will start. I think uh, batch reactor we have done. I think also problem we have done. Yeah. Uh, actually batch reactor I gave the simplest one adiabatic reactor. In fact, the same problem you can solve by taking, for example, I will write here this side, where which side? Maybe I do not know where you can see. Okay. So, this kernel I will write for u a equal to, that is the only data missing for solving non isothermal reactor. I will give you some 2, 3 values and then you can try that. Mm, here. Yeah. So, maybe you can tie u a equal to point 0 0.5 and uh, also 4. I have in between, but I am just giving you this. The units of this is kilo calories per second k 
Kelvin. U A delta T, right? The other term where you are removing some of the heat, right? It is exothermic reaction. You have to remove the heat. So U A value is given as 0.5 and also 4. Those two values you can now take. Now it is no more. Uh, even of course, area under the curve also you will get later. But now you have to do by trial and error. No, no, no. You don't have to draw the graph there. But you have to draw the graph in all these problems as conversion versus time and also temperature versus time. In all non isothermal reactors, volume directly you can get area under the curve if you have adiabatic reactor, but in general what we do is we try to plot x a and t versus uh, length if it is plug flow reactor. Okay? Yeah, and if it is batch reactor, this will be time. If it is mixed flow reactor, very happy. I think because I think <laughs> distance uh, dissolves itself because z equal to zero because there is no variation uh, inside the reactor. So that's why you will have a easy solution there, right? So th th these things, x you will it may increase. This is x, and t depending on whether you have adiabatic reactor or non isothermal non adiabatic non isothermal non adiabatic heat removal if there is sufficient heat you may go like this and then come like this is t if you are removing heat if it is adiabatic simply again increase it so these are the things and then normally you will be given that okay 90% conversion then you have to draw the line here okay this is 0.9 sorry okay this one this one is 0.9 x a point 0.9. So, automatically now when you are solving x a point 0.9 also given by length. right? So, you have the length of the reactor. Anyway, in the beginning itself you should assume some uh, diameter. right? So, the diameter uh, length and diameter will give you total volume of the reactor. Okay? Otherwise, if it is time same thing again x 90 percent I draw this line. Okay, sorry. Oh. Yeah, okay. So, this line it is crossing here x uh, graph, then this is the time R z. So, once you know time, you know now how to calculate volume of the batch reactor, you know uh, we have done that right. Time means uh, that is the reaction time plus you have discharge time and uh, all other times, okay, filling up, cleaning, all the timings you have to add and then total capacity must be given, so much you have to produce. So, based on that you calculate what is the total volume of the batch. Okay? Good. So, that is the, the procedure. Now, let us go for plug flow reactor, where uh, once you understand batch plug flow also is not difficult. We will show that we have the reactor something like this. Okay? Good. So, now anyway we have the jacket outside. So, for easy assumption it is T c entering and T c leaving. Otherwise, I have to also find out the logarithmic temperature difference between uh, you know this is T c 1, T c 2. Then I have temperature 1, temperature 2 or temperature in each T 0, T final. Then you have to find out what will be the logarithmic temperature difference, but that is one thing. Normally, we do not take in these simple problems unless you really go to industrial problems. There you have to do all that. right? Okay, so this is the one. But as usual here, we need uh, the mass balance and heat balance. So let me write V naught, T naught. Okay, X naught equal to zero. Of course, C naught is there something. Here also I have F A F, V F, T F. X A F and C A F, all this. And uh, earlier we have taken a small uh, strip here and then wrote what is entering, what is leaving. But now for this energy balance, we will uh, take that strip somewhere very near so that I will know T naught and what is the increase in temperature T. 
then I will go to T2, or T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, like that, because here also, because of the distance uh, z, okay, or correspondingly time, presence of time in the batch reactor, I have only two, I am going to have only two uh, equations and three variables. Here also same thing, same thing. Here it is z, earlier it is t, right, delta z will come and capital T temperature and conversion x. So, again by trial and error. So, by trial and error, it is easy to start with this small strip and then go one by one, right. So, that is why we will show that our strip, just slightly exaggerated strip, something like this. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, something like this we will have. This is the strip. Then my outside heat transfer also till here only. And uh, this is TC everywhere TC. So this is also TC. This is also TC, right? Okay. So this is the one. And uh, this area, because heat transfer is taking place in this area, because the tube is okay like this. Correct? No tube is like this. And uh, of course, entry for reactants outside we have this jacket and heat transfer is only through this area. How do I get that that area? Pi into d, right? Yeah. Okay. So that is the one which we will have. But total area of heat transfer, let me say this is d a dash d. Okay. In that small strip, d a dash d is nothing but uh, pi d into delta z, if I take this one as delta z or dz, okay, or delta z, delta z, ah, here also I wrote that, but anyway, it is a small one. So, let me write them now uh, the m b for this, m b is always for key reactant and in our case it is a going to r, r is only one uh, reactant, that is the key reactant or if I have two also, normally we are taking A and this I do not have to tell you, F A naught d x A equal to minus R A into d V, this is equation 1 and now this d V I can write in terms of d z. So, that will be minus R A into, if I take A as the cross sectional area, that is why A dash I put there, uh, this is d z. Okay. So, that means volume of this element. Okay. This a is nothing but again pi d square by 4. Okay. Good. If d is the diameter. Yeah. So, now uh, energy balance for the entire uh, mixture that is entering yeah, will be heat inflow equal to, no, no, I think we are writing for exothermic. So, this will be generation heat generated, okay, heat. Okay. Yeah, equal to heat outflow plus heat removed. it removed by E x t external means, that is the one. Okay. Sushmita, you are looking at that, I think not able to follow this. My delta z is only this. No, sir. Ah. Hi. Uh, what is hi? It was like the, the area of heat transfer, hmm. that is the internal surface, I mean pi d only. Yeah, pi d. Yeah. Pi d into, the pi d is only length, area is multiplied by d z. d z, this one, this is the area, not able to follow. Okay, this is the strip and what is the diameter? d. If I open it, what is the length of that? Uh, if you say pi d, it is only this length you are taking. Then, 
that so now this is the area through which it, it is transferred so that's all okay yeah so now writing the equations for this uh, for individual things uh, here for uh, all total streams you have to take f of i sigma of f of i cpi t naught that is what is entering because we are taking here okay plus i have uh, heat generated heat generated is minus ra yeah tell me ah uh, delta hr into dv into dv right yeah so minus ra into dv as one word as as one thing multiplied by minus delta hr minus delta hr exothermic heat we are taking so minus delta hr is a positive quantity okay yeah so now this is equal to again same thing out at this point outside if i take yeah outside if i take that will be sigma of cpi t plus heat removed by external means is u a delta t right what is a here u a uh, so this will be u da dash t minus t c okay t minus t c correct ha huh? okay so naturally even in this problem or even in the batch reactor problem unless you take that strip very very small you will not get very accurate results correct no this strip this should be as small as possible if you take okay let me take 50% as one dz the remaining 50% as a, another dz then you don't get much i mean you will get something but i think it will not be very accurate volume if you are asked to find out volume uh, for given conversion so that's why that should be as small as possible because that will be see the t we are telling here correct no this is inlet this is outlet t is coming out here right but if i have sufficient distance inside also i have many other t's so that is why the average you know, that means if i take smaller and smaller then you will get this t as close as possible then you are slowly going step by step with a small uh, increment then your results will be more accurate this i don't have to tell you any difference equation method always tells you that and you are doing mathematical methods in chemical engineering correct no you have that course now or next semester ah uh, yeah so idea of those courses are is only you know to help you to solve all these difference methods and all that good so now this is the one ah uh, so now i think uh, numbers gone this is 3 this is 4 equation 4 yeah so as usual this uh, equation i will try to rearrange that is sigma f i c p i t minus t not now we are more comfortable instead of writing t not here and t there yeah so that is equal to or not that is equal to plus u a u d dash yeah t minus t c minus minus delta h r equal to 0 okay so now of course i can write uh, what is this number 5 or huh? now let me write specifically even though i have not written now da dash is phi d d is the diameter of the tube okay so now substituting equation 6 and 2 uh, you have to write somewhere substituting equation 2 and 6 in 5 2 1 6 in 5 what you get is sigma cpi t minus t not plus mm u okay pi 
u capital D d z t minus T c minus R a d v minus delta h r again multiplied equal to 0. So, this is equation 7. Yeah, good. So, now uh, of course, we simply substituted equation 2 and equation 6 in 5 and then we got this, but uh, equation 2? Oh, I did not substitute yet. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. So, we will write that, sorry. That is all, huh? I think I have to write only that. Minus e minus yeah f a naught d x yeah f a naught d x yeah okay good so now i have the relationship between temperature and uh, conversion the way we expected for energy balance please remember don't forget that the extra information what you need for non isothermal reactor design is the relationship between temperature and conversion and that relationship you get from energy balance right okay so now i have to solve equation 8 equation 7 and uh, uh, yeah uh, using equation 2 for me to get that kind of profits concentration versus temperature uh, no, sorry concentration versus uh, length or temperature versus length right okay and you would have seen now again we have only two equations that's all these two two and seven okay and i have three variables of course i can also write this in terms of uh, writing those two equations f a naught i am writing this one delta x a equal to minus r a a delta z that is 1 this is maybe in terms of difference deltas then I, uh, I am writing this one as 8 and ninth equation is this sigma f i c p i delta t this one I am writing delta t plus pi u d delta z this we will leave it as T minus T c minus because this is outside temperature F a naught uh, okay, minus delta H r F a naught delta X a equal to 0. Please check I think whether I have written something wrong or not. So, 8 and 9 are the equations what we have to use good. Yeah. Now, what is the procedure to solve that? because I have these two equations right. The, the, this equation will give me the relationship between x versus t and this equation will give me uh, I mean it will not give me but actually I have here temperature conversion as well as uh, length all three are there in this. Whereas, here we have only two that is temperature and conversion because minus r a is not there right. Minus r a contains t and x both correct no and also z because of this balance d v minus r a into d v. So, that is what you have to remember these are the basic things which you have to remember if you remember those uh, uh, you know the basics then automatically whatever problem is given to you you will automatically try to solve that because you know the procedure that is why I was telling you 50 percent you know problem is solved if you know the problem clearly what is the problem here my problem is I have two equations and three unknowns how do I solve that and I know that energy balance gives me only relationship between conversion and temperature. Okay? Good. Yes. So, the procedure is exactly same as uh, yeah, what we have given in uh, for batch reactor. So, first one what is that step to solve this? Choose yeah, delta x a may be for example, 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 okay? or if you are very, very Fussy person, I think more accurate and more uh, sophisticated, more uh, 
uh, what do you call I think uh, not sincere, but I think there is one word. Yeah, if you want to be very very uh, accurate, right? Then you have to go for delta x a equal to point not not one. That will take you two years. Okay? Yeah, I mean because every step even you want to calculate. But that's why reasonably as engineers you have to take that step such that you will not get inaccurate results, but still you will not get. Uh, okay, I mean you will get accurate results. Okay, so those th that is the balance, and that balance no one can tell you. That balance should be only with you. Okay, I mean as teachers we only just tell, but finally you have to walk through the door. Okay, dialogue from matrix. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you have to walk through that. So choose delta x for example point one, and then next. Tell me, I think the procedure you should know by this time. <laughs> now, guess value for delta t. That means, in this increase, I think you know physics also. If you want to remember, okay, now I have chosen delta x as 10% uh, conversion. So now your guess will be, okay, for 10% increase in conversion, what should have been the temperature increase? That is what. That is what is the guess value, right? So now guess. Delta t, right? That's how I think you know. Initially, we started with 100 degrees centigrade, and uh, let me say that you know you may have okay 110 may be the temperature a degree, okay? That t. So now once you know that, then we have to, yeah, three. Calculate now. I know t x, and then calculate. Ah, okay. I will only calculate t from here. Uh, no, no, delta z also is there. Sorry, d z also is. Uh, yeah, d z also is. There. Now I will calculate d z from here. Sorry, I think I told you wrongly. That means I was telling that this will give me only temperature and uh, conversion. That is only for adiabatic system, not for non-isothermal system. I think why no one? I think all of you are sleeping, definitely. So this delta z is there. You should have told me, no, sir. Delta z is there. How can you say that? It gives you. Only temperature and conversion. Temperature and conversion only comes for adiabatic system. How do you know? Expression is known to you, but R A contains temperature and conversion. What conversion and what temperature? That is what what we are trying to find out. What conversion and what temperature? Okay, you understood? Or uh, that is a good question. All of you, I told you, you know, all Indians are brothers and sisters, but only one brother or one sister may ask in the class. Okay. So that is why I think you know most of you may be having the same doubt. So R A is written in terms of K naught e power minus e by R T if it is first order reaction, then uh, C A naught into one minus X A, right? So it has T, it has X, but I don't know what is in this element in my small uh, delta uh, that uh, strip you know delta Z. What is that T and what is that part? That means. Theoretically, what I should have is at every cross section I should have the R and corresponding x. So once I know that, then I can plot one by minus R A versus x A area under the curve will give me the volume. Okay, but here I don't know. I have to find out that R, right? But I don't have to draw the graph here, and then I can yeah. So what if I know T and x, I can calculate delta Z, right? You can also guess, for example. For this uh, delta x, right? What will be the length? Right? Maybe five centimeters. Right? So then calculate delta t. Delta t means delta t is nothing but t naught my uh, t minus t naught. So that t I am able to find out here. So that is why I have been telling you, unless you take this one as smaller and smaller, that r r will not be accurate. Okay. Uh, because Ramakrishna asked that question, do I know at least R zero? That means entry R zero. Entry R zero. What is the equation? Is just imagine what is the equation? R equal to yeah, e power minus e uh, by R T C a naught. Right? Temperature is known and conversion also. That means R not I know. Yeah. But only thing is 
this point or corresponding to that one point, you know, maybe if I call that one R A 1, that I do not know, right. So, that is why you can imagine this as a smaller uh, strip and then find out if you what you have to do is if you are imagining slightly bigger strip like point 0.1 also may be bigger strip uh, if the reaction is very fast particularly right point 0.1 so that is why then uh, you may have uh, yeah so here i have r not here i have r a 1 some people more accurate people will say that average of that two i will take understood no not understood started sleeping no okay this is r not this is r a 1 r a not r a 1 but actually there is a distance what i need is for each and every cross section so if i make this one as smaller as possible then that will be very close to r a 1 and then because there is a reaction there will be depending on we don't know whether increasing or decreasing uh, because temperature increases and uh, the concentration decreases that effect will be there and initially anyway r increases so that one i have to take that's why when you take slightly bigger strip for example delta x a equal to 0 0.1 strip then I can take this is R A 1, this is R A naught. Now, in between the average of those two, arithmetic average simply. If this is let us say 10 and this is now 20 as an example. So, in the strip, the average rate is 50. Okay? So, that is the kind of thing you have to slowly start doing that. Okay. Now, calculate. Now, now tell me, calculate. What you can tell? Z, excellent. Yeah delta z anyway z equal to 0 in the beginning. I am guessing no. See 100 I have guessed, I mean, 100 is the t naught, 110 I guessed right. So, that means delta t is 10 degrees, delta t only 10 uh, degrees raise. So, t naught plus that uh, delta t will give me t at this point right. So, that means at this point, at this point, at this point, I have T x a and also I know z, because z I am calculating, T I am guessing and uh, I have uh, chosen my delta x as 0.1. So, all three I know. That means, I can now calculate what will be the rate at this point, right. Okay, good. Now, how do I know that this is correct or not? Now, check this in this equation. Th that is the fourth step, no? Yeah. Uh, yeah. W what did we write there for the fourth step? Check equation. Calculate? Check equation. Not calculate, I think check, check probably. Check equation 2. Huh? Uh, uh, here I have written 2. Yeah. Check. equation 2. Okay. If LHS is not equal to RHS, yeah. check equation for LHS and RHS. I mean checking means only checking RHS, LHS, but still I am writing there. Okay. So, now if you are not able to uh, get LHS equal to RHS, then yeah. now 5, if L H S is not equal to R H S. Now, go to step 2 and repeat. Yeah. Uh, go to, oh, this is difficult. Step 2 and repeat. Now, okay. Go to step 2. Okay. What is the sixth one? So, that is all, 5 huh? what we have written there last time, Rahul, that is all, repeat 2 to 5. Good. So, that is the one. So, really it will be very, very good uh, when you do this kind of uh, you know trial and error, because you need patience that will also make you learn patience. Okay. Because problem with uh, the present generation is, with us we have patience. With you there is no patience, and you also need all the results instantaneously. Have you? Uh, yeah, yeah, instantaneously. That's what I think. You know, you 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 
uh, time concept you do not have. The moment you think it should be happening, that only happens in uh, old uh, mythology and all that where God, uh, you, uh, God wants to appear means chick, he will come there. Disappear means again chick, he goes out. Okay, good. We will stop here. This is over. Then I have to talk about something about adiabatic reactors. And uh, of course, next is uh, CSTR. Okay? Yeah. So, if I fix delta z, there are only two equations to solve but two unknowns. So, I can solve those two equations simultaneously with delta x and delta z. How? For what delta z? For a fixed delta z. For a fixed delta z. Yeah, but how do you know that is correct? No, no. I want to study the variation of the conversion and temperature along the length. No, but the delta z also should vary, no? Delta z I am fixing, I am calculating. Again, another delta z I am taking. Same thing only what we are doing. That is what, and same thing only whether you choose delta t or delta z does not matter. Or here also delta x, this is what in the last class also, that is a good question again. This is also I was telling you, uh, choosing delta x is not the ultimate. Okay? I chose because that is convenient for me to have 10 percent conversion. What he says is, let me take delta z here, that is what you are telling. You, know? you can take delta z and correspondingly in that length, what is the conversion? That is also logical. What is the temperature? Right? You can also do that. Right? So, that is why I mean x I have chosen because most of the time we talk about x. Delta z also can be chosen. In fact, anything even delta t also you can take, choose. This is what I also mentioned in the batch reactor. 0 to x. Ah, 0 to x only. Delta z means 0 to z. 0 to z. Th that is why I, I have written here from the beginning. Here, 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 here you have to go. Yeah, be because t naught I know. If I take somewhere here, I do not know what is t entering, what is t leaving. That is the reason why t naught here. And z naught also I know, 0. So, okay. like that it is easy for me. x is 0. So, 0's we know very well. So, that is why <laughs> we start from that point. Uh, what is that? What is that? Guessing delta x is easier, find one we are taking. Hmm. How will you guess delta z? You have to just guess. If you guess is not wrong, uh, maybe if you guess is not right, then you have to again change. Okay? Delta z you can guess. I mean, like for example, 10 centimeters, what should be the conversion? Uh, what is the value of Rm we are taking? Minus Rm. Minus Rm, initial minus Rm I know. I know x equal to 0 there, t naught and then uh, what is the other one? Uh, uh, that is all. Only t and x in the in, in R. Right? So, at this point, I am calculating all that here from the from these three, three steps. So, I know now t, I know x. I can calculate R here. That, that is what is your question, no? how do you know Ra? R A contains what? T and X A. So, now by I am guessing one X A and I am calculating uh, okay, delta Z anyway. I am also sorry choosing X A, guessing this and then calculating this and then checking there. Once the check is right, then I know what is X. That is what I have written here. Somewhere, yeah. What is T? What is X? What is Z? All three I know at this point. So, unless you do one problem, you do not enjoy that essay. One problem you have to do it. Delta x or delta z is big, then uh, this problem gives inaccurate, this uh, method gives inaccurate results. Yes. As small means that the smaller the, the no, more accurate. More accurate. That means every cross section you are touching almost. If you are able to go to that level. Because the actual equation we have taken uh, split into delta z into delta t. Uh, that is what difference method. That is why we should take as small as possible. Yes. Okay. And uh, if you want uh, some problems which have been solved. The problems have been solved by Smith in 13th chapter. I do not know in the 13th chapter is heterogeneous systems, but procedure is same. There, packet bed is the plug flow reactor. Okay? So, along the length you will go. So, 13th chapter, if someone is interested, you can just go and see. Next semester, anyway, they have to be interested, but it is the same procedure. Okay? <laughs> yeah, they take.